What's going on guys, Chris Bumstead here, filming with Mega Fit Meals. We're filming a full back workout today. I'm gonna to be running through my entire workout. We are celebrating today, which is why we're filming, the release of the Bum Box. This is a partnership between me and Mega Fit Meals. All my off-season meals stacked together in there, organized just for you guys. So be sure to head over to megafitmeals.com to check it out. Time to start this workout, it's gonna crush them back. All right, so first exercise, I start almost all my back diet up. All right, so first exercise, I start almost all my back days with a pull down of some sort. Just to get a really good stretch on the cable machine. It's also super easy to warm up on something pin loaded rather than free weight. So we're gonna start here with a neutral meg grip lat pull down and then go on from there. So my workouts are all pretty simply set up the same way right now. I'm doing super low volume because I'm trying to eat a lot, put on a lot of weight. The higher volume can tend to burn more calories, but essentially I just warm up to two hard working sets. So right now I did three or four work warm ups on the first exercise, two working sets, maybe throw in a drop set in there, and then that's it, move on to the next ex exercise. Just zooming in on me. <laughs> Calvin, known for just, he just tries to piss me off pretty much usually. Cause he gets bored of filming cause he's just saying bullshit all the time. So he'll just come up and like put the camera right here in my face. All right, so that's it for the first movement. This is, did two sets. First one was a drop set, started really heavy. Did a big drop. The second set I just did one straight set and I did a little bit lighter than the first set so I could get out a few more reps, get enough volume in. Now we're gonna move over to more of a chest supported row style thing. I kind of hurt my lower back last week. So this workout is probably gonna be good for someone if you have a tight lower back something right now and you wanna keep the tension off it. I'm gonna do a lot of chest supported exercises and still move some weight, but keep the weight off my core. This bent over chest supported T-bar row, you could call it, is probably one of the best replacements for barbell rows. A lot of people don't like doing barbell rows because it's hard on your lower back. Maybe you have legs the day or before, day before or after, and you're just trying to keep the st stress off your low back. So it's probably your best bet to do. You can still move a lot of weight build huge upper back by doing high rows and avoid some injuries. <laughs> Always the awkward moments in training videos. There's so much downtime where you do nothing, so. <laughs> this gym always feels like a little like awkward or something. Like everyone's eyes are on you. I, to this day, I'm like every time I film a video, I'm like boring as fuck. I don't know why you guys are watching this. <laughs> In every video, and they're like, we love it. I could just be, I'm just eating, like doing nothing. Yeah. But when I was young, if I had to speak in front of a class or something, I would get so anxious and sweat. Like I yeah. was so introvert. So it's just not normal for me. Yeah. Talking in front of a camera and then getting awkward after. I mean like, <laughs> what now? All right, so second exercise done, chest supported bent over row. Really focused on keeping like a neutral grip there, pulling high so I'm feeling it in my upper traps, mid back kind of area. Now we're gonna move over, do a similar angle thing with the dumbbells where chest supported again on the same angle rowing, but instead of having a neutral grip pulling high here, I'm gonna go more of a straight up and down thumbs up grip, pulling, keeping my elbows by my side, which is a little bit more lat, but also in your traps as well. So back is just like pretty much a workout where you just try and hit 
hit it from different angles, different wrist move positions, hand positions, all that shit, and just go hard and try and get huge. All right, so you can do this on, this bench is kind of arch, which actually helps because my upper back is more flat to the ground to make me use more back instead of biceps when I'm doing this or rear delt. But you can use any incline bench as long as you're lying forward, put it like one or two steps up, whatever feels more natural to you. And hopefully if you don't have like a big piece of metal sticking out there, your dumbbells won't hit it. But it also forces you to keep the dumbbells wider than stuck in the middle and just row high, row hard and build it back. On these, you'll see I have a little bit of a, like an arc motion, like a pendulum. So when they come down, I let it naturally hang a little bit forward, but the movement of bringing your elbow back and up actually engages your lats a little bit more. So you can focus on having the dumbbells here when you start, pulling your elbow back, like backwards and up, just to kind of get a little bit more of a contraction in the rep. <sighs> You have a full compilation of me just like <laughs> awkwardly looking around. There you go. You can replace me. I don't have to do any more videos. <laughs> All right, so the next movement, we're gonna do a, a superset here. I'm gonna do two more supersets to finish off the workout of like different parts of the back. So I'm gonna do a high machine row, plate loaded row, pulling high, trying to again target my upper back mid traps. And then we're gonna do a lat pullover as well with this machine here, which you're just focusing mainly on your lats. So we're hitting both parts of the back in the superset. And then we're gonna do a different variation of hitting the same muscles on the other side of the gym and wrap it up. I feel like a six-year-old kid. And my feet can't re reach the ground. <laughs> so for this, if you're gonna be doing a similar superset, you're trying to target your upper back, and you have a machine, anything like this, any kind of neutral high grip row machine, you wanna put the bench as low as possible if you're trying to target your upper back. That way you're pulling high. You don't wanna shrug your shoulders too high, keep your shoulders down, but your elbows up parallel with the ground and kind of pulling backwards like that just so that you're not engaging your, too much, your lats too much because the point of the superset is to hit them on the next exercise. Still, for all these exercises, I'm really only doing two working sets, superset or drop set. I usually don't do both in the same set. So here we're doing a superset, I won't do a drop set. And one more set of these and then move on. Just waiting for it. Back to the other side of the gym. All right, so the last two movements, again, they're gonna be similar to what we just did. We're gonna do a lap pullover, but on the cable, with this handle here. 
This grip's really good because you can do like high or low depending on how far back you want to contract. And you can rotate your hands to be a neutral pronated grip. So I really like these grips. And we're also going to superset that with a row here. Probably a close skip row. I usually just do any handle that I can find to finish off the workout. But we're supersetting that just like we did over there. I'm going to do two sets, 10 plus reps of each, try and get some decent volume, and then call it a day. You think you'd want to give your arm a rest or something? I, I could find. Has anyone ever told you you look like a handsome Woody Harrelson? <clears throat> All right, that's gonna be it for this back day. Got a good variation of pull downs, rows, dumbbells, machines, all that good stuff. Feeling pretty beat right now, so gotta be a good workout. I'm out of breath too, I can't talk. But thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you tuning into the C-Bum Mega Fit workout here. Showed you guys some of the stuff. Remember, bum box, so be sure to head over to megafitmeals.com, check it out, and thank you guys for watching.